Outburst, a Todd Mills mystery. Book 4, author R.D. Zimmerman, publisher Scribble Pub, Minneapolis, Minnesota, 1998, narrator Eric Ost. Chapter 34. By the next morning, Rollins had everything he was going to get, at least in the time he had. They had been able to get a match on the fingerprints they'd recovered from Mark Forrest's car. And there were no more interviews left, and, and there were no more trails that could be followed before noon today, when Kenny's 36 hours expired. Either they had him now, or they didn't. Tucked into his manila folder were formal statements from Todd, from Christopher Kenny's cousin, and from an LAPD homicide investigator who'd worked on the Dave Ravel case. Additionally, there was the preliminary blood work that showed that the blood found on the yellow rain slicker was the same type. Be positive, as Mark Forrest. For now, it was the best Rollins could do. The hope for Ace in the Hole, a direct DNA match to Forrest's blood, was going to take another 15 days. This is good, but it sure isn't perfect, said Denise Dalen, as she rose from behind her desk and handed him the formal complaint against Christopher Lewis Kinney. What about Kinney's therapist? Anything there yet? No, nothing. Not even a name. And at the U, they won't even tell me if Kenny's part of their gender program. Rollins rubbed his face and said, I was up a good part of the night working on all this. I don't doubt it. He tugged at his dark gray sport coat, then fidgeted with his tie. So you think he'll sign it? Well, Judge Hawkins certainly isn't going to ignore the fact that Kenny has already been arrested in conjunction with a cop killing. Escorting him to her door, she kept her voice low as she whispered. Frankly, I wouldn't have written this one up if it was anyone else but Hawkins. Stopping this one certainly wouldn't make him look good. That's for sure. What with all the get-tough-on-crime talk and everything. Well, wish me luck. Break a leg. Carrying the NCIC printout, various forms, his report, and now the formal complaint, Rollins headed for the elevators. Riding the lift up a single floor, he got out and went around to the receptionist, who was squirreled away behind bulletproof glass. Eventually, Hawkins' administrative clerk, Marge, an older woman with short curled hair, came out to get him. Good morning, said Marge. This way, please. The judge is expecting you. Rollins took a deep breath and followed her, hoping like hell that at last, this was it, the end of the beginning. A Gay Mysteries Audiobooks I think it is easy to hate a label, but a face humanizes the word. So this effort is twofold, to offer comfort to those like myself that your world didn't end because you don't fit into the view of acceptable society on both sides, and in hopes of helping those with family that are LGBTQ, that it doesn't mean we are aliens from the child they once knew. Reassure them so they can maybe be supportive at the same time being true to their values.